a onesie. Jesus H. Christ. Jesus H. Hey, what do you think the H stands for? <laughs> what is his middle name? <laughs> like, what's Jesus' middle name? Hell? Jesus <gasps> Hell Christ. I thought that too. And really? I'm like, oh no, that's a naughty <laughs> one because I am. There's a little part of me that still believes, so I'm like, uh, I don't, I feel bad saying that, but maybe it is. Jesus isn't that Hell a Christ. song or something? And I still believe. And I still believe. You know, me and songs is probably way wrong. No, but... it's, well, it's not that tone for sure, but <laughs> I still believe. There is something that's, and I still, still believe. believe in rock and roll. And well, the more music gonna save, save my, my soul. soul. Yeah, there what we What is go. it? What song is that? And though? I still believe. Is that like Seether or something? Mm. Some things are just meant to be. Things are just meant to be. Oh, is it like Puddle of Mud or something? No. Something like that. Nickelback, maybe. Um, no. No. I don't know. I I don't. I was so <laughs> sure about that. No. But I'm not actually positive. So hello out there, people. Hello. This is Bad Bitches Podcast. With a Z. With a fucking Z. Yeah. Don't uh, play any more if you have children around you. <laughs> Good call. Yeah. I'm not feeling like being children friendly today. No, we're naughty girls today. <laughs> I mean, every day we're naughty girls, but really, I feel feisty. Totally Especially got a lump of coal. Kayla feels spicy today. Did you say spicy or feisty, or did you say spicy? Spicy. I think it was a mixture of both, yeah. I think it was spicy. <laughs> I don't hate that word though. I think that I think we should make that happen. Spicy. You're a spicy little bitch. Thank you. <laughs> I'm thinking you had. Sorry, I'm so my butt hurts. Yeah. My yes. My yes. Did I ever tell you? Oh, I bumped it. Did I ever tell you about the video I have of my mother scratching her butt? Your mother? Yeah, I mean she's dead <laughs> no. now, but she's wearing these floral huge underwear. Huge. I mean, she wasn't a big lady, but they covered everything. They covered up to her, like, nipples, I swear. Like bloomers or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's bent over, like, sorting laundry on the phone with my grandma. They're both dead. They're both dead. Oh. Um, and so I zoom in down the hall, or I'm in her You're room. A bitch. Oh, totally. And she's scratching it. <laughs> she's getting scratching her ass, there. getting all up in her floral print. And um, she turns around. She goes, Jenny! Got Jenny! Oh, scratching my yes <laughs> anyway and i and then you know the camera cuts off and shit but it was i can still have that mental image when oh. i think of my mother i think of her in floral p- pl- print undies <laughs> good times oh uh-huh you're such a fucking asshole daughter. oh for sure <laughs> i know and she's like trying to cover what little clothing she's wearing there's nothing to cover and she's pulling everything where is this video is it lost oh it's lost in translation yeah fuck yeah it's in like an iCloud somewhere yeah no it's not it was not on a phone it was on like a little VHS or something yes it was on one of those tiny little tapes where you put in a bigger tape and it's like (laughs) and you stick in your VHS player it was Um, really cool mm mm-hmm for Christmas, I'll have to show you. My grandma gave me like a video recorder from like probably 2009, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> that was nice of her. She probably doesn't know any better, though, right? It has like five megapixels or something like that. What does that mean? Um, I'm not sure, but my phone has like nine or ten. Or oh, something. it's not very many. So my phone has a much better. Sure, and she gifted picture. this to you like a week ago, as in Christmas this yeah, year. Yes, oh. for Christmas. She was like, here you go, and she gave me a shower cap. Yeah. What? I, you know what, I love the bitch, but what <laughs> the fuck? That was my Christmas gift, yeah. Thanks, Grams, thank you. Oh. That's a weird one. Yeah, that's a weird that's one. That's weird. Merry man. Christmas to all you fucking people out there. Yeah, right. And Chanaka. Yeah, Chanaka, yeah. <laughs> and Kwanzaa and, and Kwanzaa, shit. And yeah. Fuck Whatever yeah. the fuck you celebrate, I hope you had a great time. Yes. 2020 is right around the corner. Yeah. What I wish I could do? say I was excited about it. I don't know. I've never, I've not been excited about any years ever. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know. You're not ready to start over? Start no. fresh in a new Because year? I don't start over. I'm, I'm the same every year anyway. <laughs> Whether I say, I'm like, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. <laughs> Bullshit. I don't lose a fucking ounce. I don't do anything different. It's the same every year, every day, every month. If you lost 10 pounds, you would like blow away in the wind. 
Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, you I would. would look fantastic if I lost 15. Oh, please, girl. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to lose 15 pounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't have any plans for 2020. I oh. just like to say 2020. It is nice. I mean, it's fun. Yeah. I will give it that. It's fun Hindsight, to say that. 2020. Rat. That's, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know where to go with that. You mean your but... eyesight is 2020 or hindsight 2020? <laughs> <I said> hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Your hinder is 2020. So moving into 2020, you just have to look back on the past, forget the shit, move the fuck on. Speaking move of shit. Forward. Yes, shit. You want to you want to talk about my shit? No, Aww. I am. Um, I tried to fart, and then I'm like, <laughs> if I push too hard, I'm, I'm going to shit myself right here. So don't do that. And a little squeaker came out, but it was nothing that the phone picked up. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. You said speaking of shit. You were having a nice little oh talk there before okay. I'm like speaking of shit. Let me fart <laughs> slash not fart. You can pause me for a fart any day. Okay. I want to hear your fart. Oh well, I smell it. Oh great. It could just be my body though. <laughs> Is it an SBD? Yeah. Okay. Ow. Okay, so bruise. hindsight 2020, <laughs> my arm sore from carrying a case of beer the other day. You little wuss. I know. <laughs> it's really bad. We're live again, so. Oh, right. Look yeah. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to have to watch your shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, like I was saying, speaking of shit, I thought you were going to talk about my shit turd that I sent to you the other day on the telephone <sighs> with the... I sent you a picture over texts. You absolutely did. And I showed my boyfriend almost immediately. I'm like, look at this. What did he say? He, oh, I don't want to see that. I'm like, I know you don't. Yeah, he freaked out. But um, because he doesn't like pictures of my own poop, more or less. Oh. More or less. My boyfriend won't Your look. shit. I'm like, look at the oh, shit I, I took. Well, I didn't like, tell disgust. him what it was. <laughs> or he wouldn't have looked either. I see no. what you do. Okay. Yeah. I'm just like, hey, baby, look at this. And they shove it in his face, and then he's like, oh, I don't want to see that. And he gets upset, because he's southern and shit. But, um... <clears throat> All right, your phone just did that. Well, I, now I'm scared to, si to silence it. Yeah, so. yeah, don't silence it. It's I'm fine. scared, but it, it won't make any other noise, trust me. <clears throat> um, But I, your your poop, your shit turd was fantastic. Dude, it had did, to have was been there like 10 pounds. anything that came off when you wiped, though? No. It was that clean. It was, it was smooth. Poop. I'm serious. This was... Oh, I wish we could... Can you put it on Insta? I could, Can you put it on a thingy? I, I'm not... I haven't for fear of... Losing little... People. Babies. Oh, okay. You know, being like, ew, your poop's that's gross. That's gross. But I understand. She okay. texted me back and said, that's a fucking masterpiece. <laughs> And I felt like I made a masterpiece. It was really cool. I know. I'm, I'm like, so you excited must... to send that to you. I was so jealous. <laughs> and I said that in the text also. I said, that's a fucking masterpiece. I'm so jealous. You must be 10 pounds lighter. Yes. Because I feel like all those things were true. All right. Because we're live, we got to get fucking moving. Okay. Grooving and moving. Anyway, did you have a good Christmas though? Not really, huh? I, I didn't either. It was kind of just the same. Got some bad news about somebody in my family who, whom... I'm not close with, but my grandma, who I see, you know, probably three to four times a week, and I talk to every single day, she is very close with her son, my uncle, and he's not doing very well. He has cirrhosis. So, another reason, folks, yeah, I'm drunk already, <laughs> talking about <laughs> cirrhosis, <laughs> but you yeah. need to understand that I'm a fucking idiot, and just don't, don't do what I do. It's... Yeah. Or don't feel like you have to anyway. Yeah. Please Just do whatever you want. Don't drink straight vodka multiple times a day from when you wake up until you go to sleep for 40 years if you don't want to someday have cirrhosis. Right. Like that's drinking what I'm drinking a six pack a day is different than yeah. what you're saying. You know, I mean, I yeah. think that's where what level we're on, uh -huh. more of doing something <clears throat> like that, catching a little bit of a buzz and then Good thing I didn't set you up night, with night. my uncle. If he uh, like would die, you know, a few years later. Well, I'm with one that might croak in a yeah. couple of years anyway. So it's like I found my He's own. He's at the hospital yeah, every found day. My so. own. <laughs> I found my own corpse. Well, anyway, um, yes, I know she did. She wanted me to start fucking her uncle. It was like four years ago, five yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, oh man, I'd like to set you up with my uncle. And then I met him, and 
he pooped on the couch a little. And, he shit all over my And house. then it was just like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> but he was kind of already dating somebody at that point, too. So it wasn't just yeah. like my choice. Um, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't anything like that. But it's a mutual decision. Mm-hmm. I don't think he even knew that you wanted to set us up, no, did he? No, he didn't. He had okay. no idea. Anyway, um, well. Mm-hmm. He's never been a ladies' man anyways. He's more of like. I'm going to drink this whole bottle of vodka and shit everywhere. You're not going to do anything about it anyway. I'm going to do what I want. Yeah. But, I mean, just good luck with him and things, you know. I mean, just more shitty family news, but on the other side of things, you know. Not this family, but yours, kind of. That's why I think... So it's still shitty. I'm hoping you can um, enter this with me, but that's why I am very much like a 2020 fucking let's end this piece of shit year. Get the fuck away from us now i see what you were doing with uh-huh. that and why yeah. you were looking forward to it okay yeah. let's yeah. put all that behind us in 2020 hopefully gotcha. no fucking hospital stays for us not yeah. for us yeah personally or- either that would that's <laughs> thank you you and i are never gonna have a hospital stay experience I i've never even had stitches bitch no me either and i totally should i've never broken anything besides my toe i broke my nose oh i watched you break your toe that was disgust oh and you're I don't want to say what happened to your nose. To my nose? Yeah. My stepdad p- hit me in the face with a chair. I didn't want to say that. I, I didn't know if you were comfortable I telling say it, people. But I'm drunk, <laughs> I guess, whatever. Yeah, so that's. I hit him in the head with a boot afterwards, so I got mine. He absolutely deserved that shit. <laughs> if anyone's ever deserved to be hit in the face with a fucking boot, it's that asshole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a steel toe, too. Take that. <clears throat> yes. I forgot. Nobody heard these, that. Yeah. These are not. That was his name. I, oh. And and his name is. I cannot is edit this. We have to keep. We have to going. keep going. I'm We're so sorry. We're already like a 12 know. minutes fucking shit. Balls. Okay. Well, the story's short. Yes. This time, so that works in our favor. Yes. But, okay, let's do it because we have some questions, or we have some answers to questions. Oh. oh later yeah. on. Yes. So I mean, stay tuned, people. After this fucking story, you get to hear us answer shit. Well, if this is your first time listening to us. Yeah. My name's Kayla. And, uh, whoa. Sorry. No, I didn't know <laughs> if you were. my going... sister. Big Jens. Hi. What up, what up? Yeah. Uh, we have this this podcast that you're listening to. It's a women's history podcast. So every single week we bring to you a woman from history. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> I had a cough at the same time. That was great. Thanks. I hope I didn't ruin it with my laughter. <laughs> Oh, I loved it. What? You just did something again. I was like... I have mucus in my mouth. Oh, my God. Get it out. <laughs> do you need another beer? You do. No. Oh, they do. Oh, shit. Sure. Fucking they A, man. They're that. going down smooth today, aren't Jesus. they? JB Smooth. Yeah. JB Smooth? JB Smooth. He's a oh. man. Oh. He's a tall black guy. I don't... He's always I on TMZ. I thought you were making that up. No. Does he have dreads? No, he's Big bald. Big giant dreads? Is his ponytail, like, that thick? No, he's bald. Oh. Well, there's somebody from... Oh, I'm thinking of Sway. Do you From remember MTV? That guy? Yes. yes, I do. And I think he cut all of his dreads off too. He's still on MTV, bitch. Really? I just saw him with breaking <gasps> news the other day. I'm like, come on. Stop. No. That's fucking cool. Right? He was always my favorite. Oh. I don't blame him for getting rid of those dreads. Can you imagine the headache that that would give you? No, they're so long too. That was a lot of hair. I liked um no, I liked Tabitha Soren. No idea who that is. Probably before your time. Yeah. Oh. And then there was um, Lisa. Remini? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyways, so Eep today nah. I'm going to teach my sister, Big Jen, mm-hmm. about a badass bitch from Australia named Martha Rendell. There's a Martha from Australia. <laughs> Yeah. Martha. That's not Australian. Martha, Martha, Martha. Is that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Marsha. Oh, it's fucking Martha. <laughs> yeah. God Martha damn works it. Too. No, I like it. Now half my jokes aren't going to make sense. Mm. <laughs> no, they already didn't Dropping make sense, everything. girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I like the Marsha. The Martha, Martha, Martha. That's cute. All right. We'll just go with it. Yeah, go with it. We Don't have a lot of fans in Australia. We do. We do. Is that where Michael is? Who's my, no. Oh, he's in Sweden. Switzerland. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Not good. We're from the States. Please forgive us. <laughs> yes. Good old Wisconsin. <laughs> We're from Wisconsin. Yeah. 
middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. It's not the actual name. The real name is called Rural, which is hilarious. You should just tell them we're from middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. <laughs> I love that. It's all one word. We're from rural Wisconsin. It's a real town. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's a little rural. I mean, Rrr. if you're not from these states and you don't know what rural means, just think about if you've ever seen the movie Wrong Turn. Oh, creeps. And that's like where we live, kind Dude. of. Dude. But lots oh, more cornfields. It is a little bit. But people aren't like disgusting monsters. Well, some of them are. Yeah. But wrong turn, aren't they? A lot like inbreeders. Oh, there's a lot of inbreeding around here. Yeah. You've been to Adams County, the county over? The county over? The county over. Yeah, have been there. <laughs> there's like cousins marrying cousins and shit. No, but I mean like wrong turn, they're all like mute. T- oh, mutants mutated. and shit. That's kind of where I'm going with it. We've got some mutants. Uh, Right here. Okay. Two girls <laughs> in the Dutch oven. A one-two mutant. I am a mutant for sure. Yeah, me too. All right. So Martha. 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 She was uh, born on August 10th, 1871, somewhere in Western Australia. Yeah. I don't know Australia very well. We should probably know it better since actually a lot of our fan base is there. That's fucked up. And thank you, though. I mean, I love it. I love it. Down under. Yeah. But I don't know how that came about. Yeah, it's a little strange. It must be our impeccable Australian accent. It's got to be it. Man, it's he- it's dead on too. Where's the good Sheila? I. <laughs> That's a top snotch. <laughs> Sorry, we'll move on. Yep. <laughs> um, I think she actually though was neighbors with Nicole Kidman. Oh. <laughs> Are you just trying to it's name so drop stupid. now? Stupid. Yeah. God, we're live. I can't delete that now. I know it's so stupid. Everybody's gonna hear your dumb joke. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's okay because they heard Martha, Martha, Martha first. So <laughs> I don't understand. Are the Jonas Brothers in the same neighborhood? No, they're not even Australian, bitch. Oh shit. <laughs> they're from like no. California or something. Who's the <gasps> Keith Urban? Are you thinking? No, the Hemsworth brothers. What a dumbass. <gasps> oh my god, they're fucking hot as shit, man. <laughs> I let all of them sit on my face at the same time. Doesn't make any sense either. Though. I'm drunk. Let's read this goddamn story. Huh? By the way, talking about being drunk, I have a new favorite podcast. What? It's called Drink Till You Podcast. Love it. Or wait, is that what it's called? <laughs> Oops. It's called Drink Till You Podcast. Yep. And if you want to find them, go to Twitter and go to at go to at okay <laughs> at. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to tell me with your weird like? Movements? I had beer in my I had beer in my mouth and I just kept pointing at my vag. It wasn't a queef though, folks. It was from my butthole. I thought it you just wanted to fuck the guys from podcast till you. I oh drink <laughs> till you podcast. Yeah. Please, can I get my shit together for this live performance? Ah, uh, great performance. I just looked at your vagina, not even like trying to hide it. I was like, what? Look, at, I looked around it. You did too. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that one, huh? Looks nice. What, what were you looking at? Fucking A. I thought maybe you had a hole there. You have like 15 holes in your pants, but not but if one I, in your crotch. That's weird. If I did, you would have seen my Pikachu. Yeah. And then what would you have done? Cried. <laughs> you cry yourself to sleep for a week. Wet. Nothing. I was. Okay. We're live, so I can't actually say what I wanted to say. You'd finger you. blast me from the other side of the table. Ew! The- <laughs> and then cut my fingers off and mail them to somebody. No. I don't know. No, I, don't I was either. talking about Jesus. crying, and I was gonna say oh. like you know who cries all the time, but I can't because we're live and. We can. You're never gonna listen no! to it. No, please don't say it. Okay. I'll feel bad. Whatever. All right. Somebody we know cries a lot. <laughs> yeah. And they have a penis, so and it's I not, think it's funny. <laughs> yeah, I, well, it's definitely fucking funny. Mm-hmm. But anyways, so Martha fucking dies. Oh, October sixth, nineteen oh nine. Do you want to take a stab at that one? Eighteen seventy one. Yep. August. October nineteen oh nine. Nine. She forty. Thirty eight. Fuck me. Hey, That's that was, my age that right was, now. It was pretty close. I told you those odd numbers fuck with me hard, though. Oh, nine and 71. That's what? That's an even... Oh, 38. If it would have been 70 even, and okay. 10, I would have... You would have got that shit. That would have been the wrong age, then. Well, 30... That would that would have meant she's 40. Yeah. Okay. But no, see, those years I can do, yeah. right? 
Those years I can do. I get what you're saying. Yeah. She was your age when she was deceased. Yeah. I don't really know a lot about her childhood. That wasn't uh part of the story so in much. A lot of just... the info. Yeah. Okay, she grew up normal. Pretty much. Um she did leave her house when she turned sixteen. Mm. So that's kind of young. Bye. Yeah, like, that's back really in this young. Day, it's probably like I gotta go get married or something. She now. was already shitting out kids when she was like sixteen. Probably. My nana yeah. got married and started having kids when she was fifteen. Disgust. Oh mm-hmm. my god. Yeah. So and she's not even that old. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I was listening to the monkeys and the Backstreet Boys. Oh, you're such a badass. Well, saying prayers and like drinking Mountain Dew and pizza. Every <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was awesome. Oh my god. Yeah. I was so like, we were like the same. Yeah, we grew up the same. Totally. Mm-hmm. I was like threatening people with a knife sometimes. I know. Show me your dick, or I'll cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> I didn't threaten to cut it off. You should have, though. That would have been uh, even better. I told him I had a knife. Okay. Um, but anyways, I wanted to see yeah. his dick piercing. And oh. I was on cocaine. You cannot give me cocaine, or I'll be a fucking asshole. I really will. It changes my personality. That's so crazy, too. Is I'm the same person. <laughs> <laughs> I am totally the same. I don't believe you. Nope. You shouldn't. <laughs> it's not true. Anyways. Uh, Martha was a big old hoe. Oh, good. Girl like to fuck. I love her. <laughs> so, she shits out, like, three bastard children. Mm-mm. And she liked to be fucking married men, too. In 1871? That's a no-go well, for her. Well, not when she was, like, born, no. Okay, so in, like, 1900, she Probably. liked to do it. Damn, that's, mm-hmm. like, unheard of for then, right? Yeah. To shit out bastards? I'm surprised they fuck didn't yeah. lynch her up. They were probably just, like, They yeah. still wanted to. You're so gross. Right. But she found a guy to marry her. Oh, cool. But she liked to fuck married guys, though, too? He was married. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Um, I, never mind. He didn't marry her. I'm just kidding. Okay. My bad. He was just fucking her. He I get that. Her. I've been there. So he okay. was married, but he was still fucking her. Yes. And in Australia or whatever at this time, uh, you don't get divorced oh it's like a really horrible awful thing to do or to like then get remarried mm-hmm. people are like you're the scum of the earth god <laughs> so you can just fuck everything you want while you're well you're not supposed to do this while yeah. you're married but i mean that's more acceptable mm-hmm. than divorce all right cool yeah different page than these I'd people say. are now that's not how it still is in australia is it no I doubt it i mean i mean there's probably still sluts in Australia. Oh, right. I would hope, anyway. I would really. I hope there's sluts everywhere. I know. I love sluts. Me too. <laughs> I my used, favorite. I wasn't one very long ago. <laughs> Maybe three years ago, I stopped being a slut, so. Maybe I love them, because I got to be a slut when I was, like, a kid, but mm-hmm. not as a real adult. I was a slut as a real adult. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was really unfortunate. Um. So this guy named Thomas Morris was uh you know martha's side piece well no he, he she was I mean. his side piece thank you okay that would be it um so they were fucking for about 10 years jesus yeah. h he got the good dick i guess yeah <laughs> i'd say um so in 1906 he decides to separate from his wife and move to perth Perth, Australia. Perth, Australia. I've actually heard of Perth before. That's in way western Australia, mm-hmm. like the farthest west all the way into the ocean it, that you can get. Wait, Australia's by the ocean? Australia's a fucking island surrounded by ocean. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah, that's yeah. where they put all the the naughties for a while, You've right? you said that before, but I'm Like not... a million years ago? All of our Australian listeners, please let me know. Are you guys a bunch of criminals that got shoved onto the island? I swear that's how Australia started. I mean, you might be I right. really think, I don't know why I think that, but I'm pretty sure I do think that. But that's how Australia was started. Obviously, it's not still the same, and there's, I, I but. I, uh. I mean, I like criminals. I don't care. Are you kidding? They're my favorite. Except for, like, the weird child molesters and stuff. That's not cool, but. I wish I could say I didn't like that, but I feel like I'm one anyway. 
Don't talk about little boys' dicks when we're live, Jen. We're live. Yeah, you need to shut the fuck out. I don't we're... actually like little boy dicks. Unless they're attached to a grown man. This just Sheila a is a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> this Sheila's a pervert. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not even a Sheila. I guess. Am I a Sheila? I think all women are Sheila. I think all women are Sheila's. No, I mean, like, if there's a baby dick attached to a man, I'll oh, allow yeah. it okay. to bury inside me. Oh, But my if God. it's, like, a no child. More. No more. No. I'm yes. just trying to explain myself a oh, little. Oh, you just want a baby dick on a real live, like, of age man. Yes. No, I don't want that. I'm just saying that's okay. <laughs> not to fuck children's not okay. Yes, don't fuck that's, children. That's where I'm going with it. Sorry. That's yes. a really good message we can send. Thank you. I know. I try. <laughs> if you've ever learned anything from this podcast. Don't fuck kids, people. Yeah, don't do it. That's don't fuck gross. kids. So anyways, they live in Perth. She follows him there. He leaves his wife, moves to Perth. She follows him. Um. Wait. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, they were from Adelaide. I'm sorry. It was Adelaide. They were in Adelaide. That's more of like a southern Australia. Okay. I think. Sure. Um, don't skewer me on if I'm wrong. I'm here. not going to skewer shit because I okay. don't know either. Anyways. So then they moved to western Australia to Perth. She follows him there. Um. She leaves her three bastard children behind. She's like, why? She wanted that married dick, I guess, real God. bad. It was why more did... important to her. Why didn't she take him with her? Uh, oh, no. He already had five children. Oh, er, didn't know that part. Okay, got it. Yes. Yeah. Ew. Um, that he has custody of. Okay. <gasps> ah! <laughs> did you think I was dying? <laughs> I'm not even stoned yet. I thought there was like a different sound coming out of you. I thought somebody was behind you. I thought, who was it? I'm going to pause this. I got to piss. Okay. All right. We're back rolling. Yep. Okay. Piss break, piss break, priss break, priss, priss, priss break. <laughs> priss. I like that. We're very prissy. Mm. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Why doesn't this work? Oh, it does. It's dead. Uh-uh. Oh, no. You just didn't have it on. Okay. Never mind. Oh, look at me. Please, I want CBD oil, too. <laughs> oh, that's, that CBD is good go. to me. <coughs> now that shit's going to be interesting. Good times. What? Good thing we're like three sentences in. Hey. <laughs> you know, duh. <laughs> I didn't expect to get so much of that CBD oils. Mm. Mm. All right. So Thomas and his fucking five kids. Thomas. Tomas. Oh, is that really his name? Tomas. I love the name Tomas. So do I. Makes right. me horny. <laughs> Not completely. I mean, it's just different. I, I'm into it. Um, so he's got his five kids. Um. <coughs> So Martha ends up moving in with him. They all move into this rundown cottage in East Perth. Okay. Tomas could not get a divorce because it was too expensive. And I'm sure everybody in Australia would be like, you're a fucking piece of shit, you divorce loser. Right. You can fuck whoever you want while you're married, but divorce? No, I don't think so. So something called de facto living was what they ended up having to do which basically just means like you're not divorced but you're living with somebody who's not your spouse okay and you're fucking them oh so basically just cheating but not getting a divorce and that's okay Mm-hmm. wow oh all right well all right that's some great priorities sure is all right um so Martha actually posed as his wife and forced his children to call her mom. Bitch. Okay. I mean, if they wanted to, that's different. Don't yeah. make them call you mom, right? No, she made them. Okay. And where they moved to in East Perth, I don't know a fucking goddamn thing about Australia, but wherever they lived, their neighbors tended to mind their own business. And not get into each other's 
you know, private lives or anything okay, like that. Okay, I mean, that's kind of nice. I think it's great. Yeah. You know, if you're a criminal. Yeah. Especially if you're a criminal. Especially, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, let me hit this again. Hold on. Do it. I'm hitting it. I'm reading. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> What was that noise you just did? Oh, no. I'm breathing. <laughs> I'm breathing for you over here. I'm like, <sighs> oh, God, it hurts what's so the bad. matter with you? It hurts so bad. I'm okay. No, What'd I'm good. Do? Okay, now this is going to be fun. Fucker. I'm like real I'm drooling. Yep. I drew, too, I drew too a little bit. What did you do? God damn shit. I said, God damn shit. What's wrong with you? Hey, there's your beers right there. You don't want your beer? Oh no! <laughs> what oh did, did you? <laughs> what can I do to help you? What can I do to help you? Nothing, We've had an incident. Nothing. I went. I went down. She went down so hard. <coughs> I went down to the floor. My um, God. Good times. Not hurt at all. I know you're very graceful with it. Yeah. I'm surprised. It's like a slow motion fall. I know. Thank God there's nothing behind you sharp. No sharp object. Objects. Cool. Yeah, if there would have been a knife back there, I'd be. Oh, dead. you could have totally died. If I would have had my normal, <sighs> if I would have been packing my knife heat like I normally do. Well, now I'm back to sitting. I'm like, yeah, maybe that did hurt a little bit. Are you good? I'm yeah, good though. This bitch is topple over backwards. Okay, <laughs> that's what happened here. My legs went over my head. I I'll, went straight over backwards. Okay. Something, something strange happened. I don't know. She was coughing, and then, and then she was on the ground. <laughs> because now I'm, you know, stoned off that CBD oil too a little bit. I'm really sorry, fans. Ah, she's. <clears throat> oh, they don't give we'll a get, fuck. We'll get it moving. They don't care. <laughs> so. I smell shit. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I farted when I fell. Did, did you shit when you fell? <laughs> because that's what I smell. I smell shit. <laughs> it's probably just my mouth. Don't um, worry about it. Okay, so Martha. Martha, Martha. She was a brand new stepmom. They call that something too. Is it Insta mom or something like that? Well, I don't fucking know. Insta stepmom or something. Oh, shit? Insta family. <coughs> is that's there? It. Is that? Is that what's up? Maybe. Okay. I need to that's, smoke more. To that's like a movie. Brain. Yeah. Really mellow it out. Mhm. Mhm. That's um, a movie though. Insta family is a movie. It is. Yeah. Oh. It's got your guy in it. I Mark guys. Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Oh, and Rose Byrne. Mark Rose Mark. Byrne. Yeah, I don't like him. Hey. Sorry. Oh. What? Somebody just texted you. Oh. <clears throat> eh. if, you're, if you're out there listening, you need to watch Don't Fuck With Cats. Yeah, that's wild. Mm-hmm. I finally watched the last episode of it. Did you? Loved it. Mm-hmm. You know, it was pretty interesting. I like the rules. I don't like rules usually. But the rule is, rule number one... Do you remember? Don't fuck with cats. You just don't fucking fuck with cats, <laughs> bitch. Or you get killed. Mm-hmm. So don't fuck with cats. I'm cool with that rule. I'm very okay with that. And uh-huh. you know, so many people do fuck with cats. Yeah, I'm disgusting. not okay with you if you do that. Don't ever fuck with a cat. It's different if you're like, I just don't like them. You stay I, away from I'll them, allow yeah. that. I'll allow it. But don't hurt any animals, period. I don't even like fishing, for fuck's sake, though. So I'm a little bit different. But cats are my main squeeze, and I yeah. get upset when people hurt them. So. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Me too. Anyways, so I don't know if Martha and them had cats. I'm not sure. Just had to put that in there about the don't fuck with cats. She'd probably needed... fuck it. Oh, I know. Get it I off your chest. I need to talk about it. Say it. I know. <clears throat> that was very. That guy's such a jerk. Okay. Luca? So, Luca. Ew. I mean, I really love his name, too. I love Luca Morocco. Or was Luca, Luca Rocco Magnata? Yes. Luca Rocco. That's fucking badass name. You and brought his, shame to your name. You and his so cool. mom. I know. His mom was so hot and, Such like, weird. Cutie. But obviously crazy. Your son My son wouldn't murderer. do that. He would um, never do that. I'm pretty sure he did. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he did. And she knew he was cray long before anybody else did, too. Oh, no, my son wouldn't do that. All right. Sure. What the fuck ever. Yeah. Well, Martha was not a very good mom. Oh, no. Not a very good stepmom, either. No. Um, she 
had to care for them all the time because Tomas had to be gone for work all the time. Like, basically, he'd be gone for, like, weeks. Jesus, shit, what did he do? Here, take care of my children, was what he did. What did he do? Um, I Her job. Know. Oh, okay. I okay. I should know. That's fine. He just traveled. He traveled. He was just gone, yeah. Okay. Um, April 1907. So, she mm. would be 36. Yeah, so she's almost dead. Uh-huh. Okay. What are you sniffing? You just keep reading. I'm oh. sniffing things. I'm sniffing things. Are you trying to find the shit smell? Yes. This whole room stinks. I know. There's something in here. God. It's probably my body, but I'm just, like, I'm trying to convince myself otherwise. I cleaned my house for Christmas. I'm hosting Christmas <clears throat> tomorrow. Oh, bitch. Let's, you have Christmas tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. I did not my know whole that. My family's coming here, and I cleaned the shit out of my whole house, and the Dutch oven fucking stinks. <laughs> the rest of my house smells so good, and then I come in here, and I'm like, what is that? No. Yeah, there's an odor in here. I You're don't know. Gross. This is nasty. Well, I, I, we both have farted and belched in here like three times, so. Three? Just like today. <laughs> I mean, a piece, like three times a piece. So it's we probably just. Okay. But, okay, so 1907, all four of the youngest children get really sick with Mm-mm. diphtheria. What? Yes. What's that? Um. It's this, just, it's crazy. It's, uh,. It's an infection of the nose and throat. Ow. Um, it causes a thick gray matter to get stuck on the back of your throat. Oh, my God. So you basically choke to death. Pretty much. Okay. <clears throat> um, and it makes you, whoever's sick with it, it makes you have really, like, loud breathing and coughing and stuff. No way. So for this woman to be taking care of four children who are all sick with this, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, not a great choice. She was like mm-hmm. regularly seen beating on them and stuff. Are you are you doing something else right now? No, I'm reading about diphtheria. Oh, a serious infection of the nose and throat that's easily prevent preventable by a vac- by a vaccine now. But it's exactly yes. what you were saying. I just wanted to know. It's very rare. Now. Now, right? Mm-hmm. With with vaccines. Oh my also, God. another thing, if you ever learned anything from this podcast, vaccine your fucking children. Please do it. Jesus That's, fucking Christ. I'm serious. Jesus H, to be exact. I know it's just ridiculous not to. I mean, I would fuck Jenny McCarthy five ways from Sunday, but don't listen to a word she says, please. <clears throat> It's not like she's a fucking scientist, which scientists are the ones telling you to get vaccines. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're smart. Yeah. Like. Smarter than I am. Listen to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I'm with you on that one. Um, so, yeah, they all got diphtheria, all, the four younger Shit. ones. Shit. Um, she was obviously annoyed with having to care for all these kids. Ew, sick kids. <laughs> Nine-year-old Annie was her name. She had a lot of trouble getting better. All the other kids kind of got better, and she just was not getting better. Oh, no. So Martha, you know, what a great fucking stepmother she is. Mm-hmm. She decides to swab the girl's throat out with hydrochloric acid. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You, okay? you don't do that. You don't do that. I just had a reaction to that acid that you're talking about. I know. You I were felt upset. it too. Fucking poor Annie, man. I felt her. T- I felt her pain too. You don't do that. I mean, I wouldn't think so. So no. What does hydrochloric acid mean to you? Because you obviously know it's not good. It's well. Doesn't it means it just like burns everything? It does. Yeah. It's a so naturally it's... occurring. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. It is a naturally occurring uh, acid inside of your stomach that breaks down food. But okay. the, your stomach lining can handle it. Your yeah, throat your throat cannot. cannot. That's why it hurts so bad when you have heartburn or acid exactly. reflux. It burns and it's very annoying because you're not supposed to have it there. So. Absolutely. Hydrochloric acid does exactly what you said. It just basically eats skin away. Whether there's a little mucus <clears throat> on it or not, it's going to burn right through that shit and go right to your skin. Oh, poor Annie. This sounds like a nightmare, man. So, yeah, poor Annie. I totally agree. Um, her throat became even more inflamed. Weird. Imagine that. Right. Um, 
she was in bed having convulsions, shitting all over herself. Damn. Vomiting, like horrible, awful, horrific, just awful. Um, they take her to the doctor. Or the doctor comes to the home, whatever they did in olden days. Ah, uh, the doctor probably came to them. I think so. Oh my god, my turn. Jesus you Christ. Almost I almost ate it too. Shit fucker. Let's get this goddamn pillow shit. It's not. We're sitting on like a child fucking <laughs> toy chest. Yes. So, Two of us. Yes. Do with you something in the, in the center. I'm okay now. I just okay. needed to get rid of that pillow. All right. All yeah. Right, my pillow. Um, so they took her to the doctor, or doctor came to them, and they gave her anti-diphtheria medications, but she ended up dying anyways. I had a feeling Annie was going to die when yes. you said she was so young and she wasn't healing. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. July 28th, 1907, Annie dies. Okay. And uh, Poor thing. Yes. Her death certificate says she died from diphtheria. Oh, mm-hmm. that's not what she died of, is it? Mm-hmm. Life goes back to normal pretty much for all of them. Um, a few weeks later, Olive, George, and I- Arthur, three of the other kids, oh, okay, they all get sick with typhoid. Living at this time must have sucked ass. Totally. Typhoid? Or is she poisoning them? Mm. How do you get typhoid? How, you can't poison someone with typhoid. <clears throat> well. Typhoid? Ty- God, Shit. I've heard of it, but I don't quite know what it does to I'll you. I'll tell you what it is, but are you going to fucking Google it because you don't believe me? No, no, I believe you too. I just wanted to see it. I no, t- it. typhoid. I'm glad you were Googling Give it. that and not like texting somebody I'm else because I was about to be pissed. Like, no, I am get off your phone. super involved. If it's weird kind of diseases <laughs> and shit, I'm so into it. I'm into the shit. Mm-hmm. Tell me about typhoid. Typhoid, Mary. Coughing. Contagious. Very contagious. You're thinking about tuberculosis. Nope. Typhoid Mary is a person, though. I know. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. But typhoid is a food-borne bacterial infection. Okay. Typhoid Mary was like a cook. (gasps) We talked about her. That's why I know about it. We've never done a bad bitch episode Mm -mm. on her, but maybe we should. We talked about her. She kept like making ice cream for people or something. Did she keep making like, desserts? And you're like, shit. can you get off my food, bitch? Can you wash your hands for once? Jesus fucking Christ. Right. It's so, and she was like the carrier and she passed it on to like thousands of people, right? I don't remember. Ten. Probably like ten people. There was, but it was a lot. It was like in New York. So there was probably only like 10,000 people in New York. At mm-hmm. the time. I'm just kidding. That's a way wrong number, but whatever. It was like. <clears throat> 1492 or some shit so probably uh, like 10,000 people yeah typhoid causes high fever oh, yeah. stomach ache and diarrhea oh <clears throat> okay i guess i thought it was a lot worse than that <clears throat> but it still sucks yeah it ain't good Mm-mm. um now this time olive was the one who couldn't really seem to recover from the typhoid oh no um, <clears throat> her throat became very inflamed <sighs> And then she laid in bed, shitting and puking all over herself. The doctor came to them again. Olive dies in July 1907. Well, shit. So that's literally like six months after, right? Well, I'm looking, I mean, and like... it says that I said that the other girl died in July. And now uh-uh. I'm saying this girl died in July, so I'm Come most, on. my shit's off. Oh, I think no. <clears throat> I think Olive died in June. By, like, okay, so it was like a month done. apart. Yes. That's so fucked up. It was just a couple up. weeks later, yes. Ma- I think Martha's up to something here. <clears throat> Why would these kids keep getting sick? And I mean, serious. I don't think Martha's a nice lady. No, I mean, I'm kind of catching on. I really liked earlier that she was a slutties. And now I'm not loving her like I used to. She just wants to get rid of this. She wants to get rid of this guy's kids and just fuck his good dick. The yeah. rest of his life. Or the rest of her life. I think you're right. I think I'm onto something too. Well, that's yep. two of five kids dead in a matter of a few weeks. So yes, you know, it definitely looks suspicious. Right. Um. But then after Olive dies, they go an entire year with nothing happening. So then the heat's kind of off of them. Nothing, you know, is really being but, said. But Martha probably knows that too. Oh, so I'm sure. Better lay off for a minute. She's probably not stupid. Yeah. Um. So, June 1908, so yes, 
My bad. Olive died in June 1907. Oh, okay. Okay. So one year later, okay. June 1908, um, Arthur, who's 14 years old, falls ill with very similar symptoms as Olive and Annie had. Yeah. Diarrhea, vomiting, and inflamed throat. What could that be? He dies. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. What could that be? What does those things to you? <clears throat> I think it's because she was swabbing them with hydrochloric acid, and it was just eating their whole gut system out. Why is she so which stupid? Which will cause you to vomit and diarrhea. God. Okay, so it's all like, okay. But hydrochloric acid at this time was also an antiseptic. If you diluted it right. Oh, she's not diluting it correctly. No. She's like using it in, it in its potent state. Here, here, little Timmy, let me help you. Here, Peter. Yes. So Arthur died. Oh, fucking Arthur. Mm-hmm. And the doctors are kind of like, well, this is a little curious, I guess. Third I mean, time's a charm, yeah. Let's, yeah. What's happening here? But they thought that this was their real mom, too. They called her mother. They, she posed as his wife, so... Yep, I forgot about that part. They don't even know she's a fucking stepmom and barely knows these kids either. Yep. Um, so there's three kids in 15 months dead. Yeah! Mm-hmm. All from undiagnosed hemorrhaging of the throat area. God. Can you imagine hemorrhaging from the throat area? Isn't that disgusting? Like, if you want to kill somebody, whatever, but, like... Come on, put a pillow over their head at night. Some shit. Going, I know! Like, make Come it on. Quick. Don't excruciate and get off them. pretty bad. That's a bad way to go. I don't like Martha. No. She's kind of a dumb bitch. Oh, she's terrible. Okay, so, stupid Martha. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, whatever, you guys are not doing a fucking autopsy on my child, Arthur, unless I'm watching you. Yeah. It's going to be like, no, don't actually look behind the lung. There's nothing there. Like, what is she going to do even if she's, I mean, what? She stopped them in the middle of the autopsy and basically, like, pushed them off of the dead body and was like, get out of here. That's enough. You've done enough to him. She knew they were going to find something, right? Yeah, yeah. And they stopped the autopsy. And basically, she, they, they said that his cause of death was due to ulcerations of the bowels. I and cardiac arrest. <gasps> oh. That was it. Yep. Well, that'll do it. Yeah. They also made no reports about having any suspicions about Martha. Or that, you know, it was suspicious at all that these kids are just fucking dying, like left and right. Right. That would be the first note that I had. <laughs> like mom's a little bit uh, we don't know about her. Like just Make it known. What the fuck? So, nobody gave a shit about these dead kids. Oh, dead babies. And around May 1909, so that would be... Don't ask me. That would be a year or so. That would be like 11 months later. Okay. Maybe. Um, things started going bad for her again because one of the remaining boys started to feel ill again. Um, he started to get a sore throat oh, after Jesus. Martha had gave him some tea. This bitch. And, I mean, she used to beat them all the time. I think I forgot to say that. But, like, oh, she yes. Did. She was, like, a sadistic fucking asshole. She enjoyed inflicting pain upon these children. That was her thing. That's disgusting. Yeah. If you enjoy inflicting pain upon people, yeah. You're I fucking sick. hate you. You're yes. sick. I Unless know you that's... find somebody that loves the pain, then whatever, you're a match made in heaven. But then you stay away from everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. You know, people suffering or people being in pain is literally I can't. the last thing I ever want to see. I can't. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, if I'm on my period and an ambulance goes by me with their lights on, I will cry. Mm. I will literally be like, oh, somebody's dying. And they probably just like broke their leg. It could be, yeah. But you don't know. So you just, you uh, mentally, it. and if you think that that person, can you imagine what I'm thinking? 
I'm thinking, oh my God, Ebola's out. The, You're they're crazy. HIV positive. They broke every bone in their. They fell off a building. <laughs> and Ebola is happening. <laughs> they prob- fell into Ebola. Oh my God. They went in the sinkhole. <laughs> they had to fish them out, man. Oh, it was so awful. You're holding your ears. Are you I'm okay? stoned. Okay. Yeah, I'm really high now. I'm sorry. I just got excited too. So I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I've always had this thing too where I feel like my ears are taking off. Oh, yeah. Just, like zipping in the air. So I just need yeah. to make sure they were still on my head. Okay. I mean, I was positive they were, but. I mean, that is totally sane. It's a weird thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird thing. <laughs> that time that you thought that I was going to beat you up was because you were trying to hold your ears in place and I was trying to tickle your armpit. Oh, ah! And you tried to kick me in the mouth. <laughs> you were so fucked up. I was. I'm like, get away from me. You got really close to my mouth, too. You almost kicked me right in the face. Two, uh, two drags in, I want to say that one. It was not much. You know, it would be different if it was, like, three straight-up huge bong ribs, but it was not. Oh, yeah, no. You're no, right. I'm sorry. So you know about my ears taking off. <laughs> yeah. It's been a thing of mine for many years. I was years. like, what are you doing? i got to keep my ears down. <laughs> I'm trying to fly away. Right, I forgot about that time. Okay. Sorry. So because anyways. I'm not the one that almost got hit in the face with, yeah, a, with no, a shoe. I'll That's why I guess it. I forgot. I'm really sorry. Well, and I smoked a lot, and I was still pretty with it so i was like this she's faking it how could you get that fucked up off of like one or two hits turns out i wasn't faking it now i got to know you more and i was like no she really thought that i was like a demon trying to steal her soul or something yeah i would never try to hurt you if i didn't think you were trying to hurt me first (laughs) yeah no i understand that about you now you're totally a wussy Mm -hmm. (laughs) so bad anyways so these boys ran away from home um i would too yeah Get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Um, Tomas was worried for his sons. Oh, yeah. So he calls the cops. He's like, where the fuck are my children at? I understand that, but they probably searched the house before they look for the boys. And then Martha's been an asshole bitch. Mm-hmm. See if I saw eh. that. Is that, is that? I got one too, I think. Nope. <laughs> Ew. That one is an icky taste. Of <laughs> Beautiful. I did have one. <laughs> Stinks. All right. So, um, the cops find George, the 15-year-old boy. He tells the cops that his stepmom is trying to kill him and that his dad is an accomplice. <gasps> oh. And that Martha has is actually responsible for the murder of his three younger siblings. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah. I really hope they believe him. George is like, y'all can get fucked. Yeah. I like a George. I love I love a George too. <laughs> um, so they almost didn't believe him actually because he was at his mom's when he ran away. So they oh, like, he went back home or to his mama. Okay. They were like, his mom and him made up this lie to get back at his dad, and nah, she doesn't like the stepmom, so whatever. Um, but all they could do really, um, was uh, you know, look into it. Basically. Sure. And the story that he was saying, they were kind of like, mm, hydrochloric acid is used as an antiseptic, so the kid doesn't know what he's talking about, pretty much. Spirit of salts is what it's called. Oh. Spirit I don't know that. Salts. Yeah. Spirit of salts. And that was never, ever used before as a murder weapon. So these cops are kind of like, oh, this dumb little 15-year-old kid, he doesn't know what he's talking about, you know, kids die all the time because there's no vaccines. I understand why they would think that. Mm-hmm. And, um, but they ended up uh, arresting her. Good. And, uh, they, the only option they really had was to exhume all the bodies and look at them. Sure. Pretty much. Yep, um, and it hasn't been that long. They're not like mm-hmm. ske- skeletons yet, probably. They're still in decomposition. Decomposition? <laughs> Stage? Decomposition? Stage? There we go, yes. Sure. Yeah. Um. So in August 1909, they exhumed Olive, Arthur, and Annie. Get on up here, bitches. <laughs> Get on up here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they rose from the dead. <laughs> yeah. Awaken went- my child. <laughs> I say, God damn it, get up. Let the force be with you. <laughs> Good one. bumping this. It's going to be I so do? Loud. No, I do. I okay, think. bitch, because I'm trying to be as far away from it as I can, or I would knock it over and take you with it. 
That's what's up. <laughs> I'm the one falling off the bench today. I know. So. <laughs> I know, but I'm afraid that I might help you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're sorry, listeners. We're ah, just a mess. They like the it. I think they like it. Feel better about your life because you're <laughs> as stupid it's as trashy. we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really true. Good call with that. Okay. So, the, uh, I guess, exhumation? Ex- the exemption. Exem- Dude, that's not right. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the it exhumation sounded... of the children. And yeah, yeah. Proving uh, that Martha had, in fact, swabbed their throats with undiluted hydrochloric acid. And there was a mount or there was amounts found inside the tissue still of all yes jesus of all of their dead bodies like a huge amount like like uh, a very a huge enough for them s- to agree with george the saturation the such saturation in the <laughs> tissues was probably very strong thank you for what i'm saying picking up where i couldn't got it lift. i didn't either i didn't do that okay Mm-mm. um so these dead bodies pretty much corroborated George's story, and uh, the public fucking hated Martha just as much as we do, pretty much. They were like, "You're I, a dumb bitch." Let's stone her. Let's fucking spit on her. Yeah, let's do a lot worse than spit on her. <laughs> I want to hurt her. Yeah. I don't want to hurt her. Yeah, you couldn't hurt a fly. I just want her to not be happy at yeah. all. Like I'm such a badass. I just wish you weren't happy. That's where I'm at with that. I hope you hate what you see in the mirror. Yeah. I hope you're ugly. Mm. I know I wish I could come up with something better than that, but I'm afraid I'm going to really offend someone if I'm like, I wish you had a butt chin. Because I have one, so it's okay to say that, but I don't love mine. I kind of wish I didn't have it. I have a butt chin too. Somebody told me. Uh-uh. That. No. Oh. If you do, it's like... <laughs> You're all up in my shit right now. <laughs> at least I didn't stare at your veg like you were doing to me last week. Or, I mean, an hour ago. <laughs> oh my god, we're so far in. I know, I'm sorry. You do not have a butt chin, though. We haven't even got to our questions yet. Okay, I know, we're gonna part. blow through those. Okay. So, um, there were, like, tons of witnesses that came to testify against Martha. Yeah. Even... Most of her neighbors, who were normally like, mind your own business and shit. That's why that neighbor comment was so important earlier yeah. on in the story. Even the neighbors God were like, damn. guess what? We've been peeping in these windows and shit for like a couple years now. And we have seen them. Why did that work for you? I don't know. I'm sorry I have yours, so. It didn't. It did, too. It did. It was fun. I'm getting fucked up, man. No, no, you're good. It's out. Okay, so, um, whatever. The the neighbors are the like, neighbors, I saw you. They testified saying that they used to look into her windows, and they would see her beating the children, horribly beating them, and mm. then masturbating afterwards <gasps> over their agonizing bodies. How do you absorb that? That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Yes. We've we talked about a lot of disgusting shit. And like strangling babies and all that yeah. shit. And I'm not okay with that. But that to me really stands out as being one of the most disgusting things I've heard. Yeah. Because she's getting off on how... She gets sexually aroused. Oh. Disgusting. Ew. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm serious. I have a lisp right now because I'm so mad. <laughs> I don't. I think it's because I had too much spit in my mouth, but it sounded like I was lis- lisping, and it could just be because I'm fucked up too. It's hard to grabbed, say, but. Uh, what? I, I went to grab a Kleenex. That's why I fell off. The oh no! Here, hold my hand so I don't fall. Okay. You're still you're gonna fall. It too far. I'm scared. <laughs> Let me down. Let me down. No! Oh, no! Oh. No! I got it. Okay. We're good. Look at. I was just really afraid that I couldn't support you any longer. We just, there always needs and to then this nice. would all come off on top of you. I'm like, I can't. Too much pressure. I know. We need Kleenex because you I do my it. dirty mouth spit in there. Mm-hmm. I always need Kleenex too, though. And I, oh. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. There's a fucking Kleenex in front of our faces. <laughs> I'm sorry this is live and you don't know what we're talking about, but I fell off of our I think bench it did. and this whole past five minutes of us making weird noises has been to get some Kleenex when the entire time there was a box of Kleenex in like the phone is on top of a box of Kleenex. Yes. A yes. recording device, my phone is on top of the Kleenex. Holy shit. Okay, so we were talking we about so stupid. I it's I don't know. <laughs> Let's get a move on. We're already at like an hour. I know, dude. I'm really okay. sorry, but we're talking about her finger blasting herself to some dead kids. Oh, yeah. It's like that's hard to get. <laughs> that's hard to get past. Um. So yeah, these are witnesses that saw her oh. like come to a sexual climax after inflicting extreme pain upon children. That's the kind of woman we're dealing with right now. And I'm wondering what these poor kids are thinking too. Like, what is that, Papa? Mm-hmm. Papa, why can't I see you? Yeah. And he's probably like, don't talk about her. She's got a mouth like a hoover. I don't want to ruin a good thing. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. You um, know that's exactly what he's thinking. Oh, my God. The public uh, luckily was outraged. Maybe not Tomas. I don't know. He got charged with murder as well. So. Do we know if he knew that she was doing these things? Well, I'll oh. read on. Okay. Um. So... Um, the officer that arrested her, quote, says, oh, I should say that later, says, quote, Mm. she delighted in seeing her victims writhe in agony. Wicked Witch of the West was the last woman hanged in Australia. Wow. Yes. Oh, no. I fucked that all up. Why? It's not right. It says... She delighted in seeing her victims writhe in agony, and from it, she derived sexual satisfaction. Oh, okay. And then I was supposed to tell you she was the last woman hanged in Australia. She's disgusting. I'm sorry. I fucked that up. Oh, do you want to read it again? I'm drunk. Who cares? Yeah. It's okay. That's fine. Drink till you podcast. Right? You know what? Did I ever say their Twitter handle, or did you interrupt me a bunch of times? I don't fucking know. I probably was trying to fart, so I... I'm sure I interrupted you. I've just been looking at your hair. It's sticking to this blanket. <laughs> Do you want to touch it? Because your, fa- your hand is like... You look like you wanted to like caress my hair. D- turns out that's just your hair. It's not It's not static. It is static. I, s- I feel it. it Knock is... it off. We got to get going. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't help it. So Drink Till You Podcast. If you want to hear their podcast, go to their Twitter. And it is at drink... Until you. That's it. Y-O-U. Drink until you. Y-O-U. Go there. Listen to their shit. I love it. Let's go on with Martha. I'm excited. So, um, Tomas Morris was his name. He was acquitted because most people had felt that he actually really had no knowledge of what Martha was doing. Even though he was the one that bought the hydrochloric acid, or the salt of spirits. He thought she was deleting it, though, right? Yes. Or dilu- diluting it. Deleting it. <laughs> he thought she was using it for its purpose. Yes. And, um, so yeah, Martha became known as the Wicked Witch of the West. West? Bitch. West? <sighs> hey. Please help me talk. I, c- I wish I could, but I can't figure it out myself. So, um, so wicked stepmother Martha was hanged only 20 days after her verdict. Good. Her guilty verdict. Yep. Sometimes they keep him around forever and you're like, just get rid of him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do. This actually sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> just kill him immediately. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it at all. But with her, I'm just so passionate about it. I just wanted her to die. Yeah. She's well, so awful. Since she has died. Well, she was hanged on October 6th. Okay. At 8 a.m. But people do say that they think that possibly she wasn't trying to kill them. She was just a fucking idiot and didn't realize that you needed to dilute the hydrochloric acid. No. 
Then why is she getting off on him and shit? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. She's just a bad person. She's disgusting. You can say whatever you want, but... I think she meant to do it. The neighbor's... The neighbor? <laughs> That's not... Even if she didn't mean to kill them, why is she still standing on top of them, finger-blasting herself yes. until she owes? Yeah. Or, I mean, why... That's... She must have done disgusting. it often because the neighbors are like, dude, I saw that like 50 times. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, she probably didn't just do it when they were dying. She probably did that All when the they time. just were sick. When they were, yeah. Yeah, hurting. so she's still disgust. If your vagina turns into a waterfall because somebody's like dying in front of you, you should just go kill yourself or something. Don't, something needs don't to kill happen. other people. Right. Yeah. You're, oh, that's a real problem don't for me. Don't ever kill other people. I don't like this No. Shit. Children, you're a piece of shit. I'm glad you got hanged. The last woman ever to be hanged in me Australia. Me too. Me mm-hmm. too. Take her out. She's an asshole. Um, so, there was an episode about her on the show Deadly Women. Have you ever seen that? Yes. It's on Lifetime. Uh-huh. Is that a Lifetime or Oxygen? It's one of those, yeah. Okay. Um, Season five. The episode was called Pleasure from Pain. Right. So So she's an asshole. Yeah. If you're interested in seeing all of the information that I probably fucked up about her. Yeah. Go check that episode out. Yeah, no shit. Um, well, that's all right. I know. We were in a blaze through these questions, huh? Yeah. That was a great story, though. You know what? Did you I like really, it? I did. I really liked it. It really caught me. That last page of yours. I'm like, mm. Yeah. This woman, as I was wondering for the longest time, I'm like, so she's a slutty. Yeah. We are too. Yeah. What's the big deal? The girl Why likes she to fuck. Have an episode? I know. I'm yeah. thinking, where's mine? <laughs> but <laughs> she's really, really a horrible, terrifying person she's also. She's a treat. Yeah. She's bad. She's Mark bad. Mark Rundell, everyone. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure most Australians aren't like her. I sure hope not. Yeah. I don't think y'all are. No. They're nice, amazing, wonderful, sexy, hot people. Mm-hmm. That love us and we and, ah mayo we love them too. So this time, yeah, damn. Not like last time. We're nope. prepared for you guys. We have your questions that you asked us like weeks ago to sure. answer for you. Hey, do you want this? <laughs> not yet. Oh no, I still have a half a beer. Okay, you're slowing down, baby. I know. Well, I, I haven't eaten talking. anything today. It's four what? o'clock. I've ate nothing today. I ate half a pizza for breakfast. <laughs> But then that's it. I, I forgot eat. to eat. You don't forget to eat. That's crazy. Cleaning. How do you cleaning. forget? Oh, that's why your house looks so great. Yeah. <laughs> I did free you of Christmas tomorrow. I'm sorry. Okay. So, first question is from Anonymous. It says... <laughs> I love this question. Okay. Um, when I was 18 years old, I was young and dumb. My girlfriend and I fucked all the time. And... We started to experiment with different things like cock rings and vibrators, all kinds of stuff. One night we got extremely drunk and somehow she ended up with the handle of a saucepan inside of her vagina. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So my question to you is, what is the weirdest thing that you have ever had up your vagina? First of all. Can I just say that that's fucking fantastic <laughs> and amazing, and I wish I was that smart. Um, I wish I knew who you were. <laughs> right? And I'm wondering, do you hold on to the round part of the pen and just, like, ram the handle in her? Are you or did she, it? Or did she do it herself? Or yeah, did you watch? Or I'm did just, you insert it? There's a lot of things I'm curious about with that. Yes. But I appreciate your creativity, <laughs> and I wish I was that creative. Um <laughs> No, unfortunately, I haven't had a whole lot in my puss other than just a bunch of dicks. Um, I well, not at once, but just you know, a bunch of dicks in there and shit. Um, I'm oh, thinking like maybe just like I know at one point or another I was pretty fucked up and maybe wanted to get busy and it was just the good old big gents here by herself nice. so i thought well maybe the handle of my fucking hairbrush will do oh there you go yeah did it do i don't recall <laughs> so probably not but it was just i mean it it's not it ain't cute but oh god and kayla do tell me what you've stuck up your pussy so wish I was way cooler and had like a really awesome like saucepan handle <laughs> thing to tell you, but I just 
couple of weird dude's fingers, I guess, is kind of weird. And I know, like, I've been thinking about this. I stuck a second tampon in my vagina one day yeah. by accident. Ah, uh, you'll have that. So I, I had mean, two tampons in my vagina once. That wasn't fucking cool. I'm trying to think more about that. Does it kind of go along the side if you have a double tampon in, or does it, does. it shove up farther and go straight up? I think it does a little bit of both. Ouch. Yeah, it didn't feel great. I was like, ah, why does that hurt? So then how do you get this, the the one that was already in there? How do you get that out? They both came really... out at the same time. Okay. But they were both pretty dry. Ouch. It hurt. So, so bad. So bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought maybe you had the first one in for a while before you put the second I one in. I think I did, but I wasn't really perioding that much and i was okay. hammered as fuck and i was yeah. like i don't want to bleed through my pants or anything i better get a tampon in but i already had Ouch. one in there yeah oh my god no so it wasn't even for sexual pleasure no 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 god stupid other than that i don't remember didn't your brother tried to stick a vibrator in me the other day and it was way too huge and i was like oh that doesn't feel very good that hurts i didn't think you had he anything goes, like how, that how how does my dick fit in your <laughs> Oh, your please. dick's not hard. <laughs> yeah. and oh, your dick's not plastic and hard plastic, yes. right? Well, it doesn't feel good. Did but... you ever? Um... God, I had a no, question. No, I recently for you. got a vibrator. Oh, at that sex party we were at. I know, but, but I, I didn't bought the see cheapest it. One in the I didn't magazine. see it. I don't know how big it was. It was on sale and stuff. Oh, I didn't know. Is it a big one? No, not really. Yeah, well, it just how... has a bulbous end on it. <sighs> Oh. I don't get it. I don't get vibrators. Like, just give Mm-mm. me something that vibrates. Why do you have to look like a weird dolphin? R- oh. I mean. Right. But not just that either. But penises are so much smoother. Why? It's. But they're not. It's going to be they 2020. Are. Can't you make me like a squishy fucking vibrator? I don't. Why are they all hard plastic? I think they do. But the. <sighs> They do, but then why you is have your to... hairbrush handle hard plastic? It is. I don't know. I don't know. Why doesn't it look like a dick? Because you should know what I want to do with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we have got to get moving. No, there but... is other questions. Can I just say the yeah. the the vibrators that stick to the side of things with suctions oh. are squashy, squashy, okay. but they don't vibrate, right? Yeah, because you have to, have to have batteries. Batteries you can't have in something that. Do you have a I'm suction cup right. one? I don't. Oh, I just okay. know that they exist, yeah. and I don't. But maybe you should look into something like that, a I've suction cup one. I've always wanted one because mm-hmm. I've seen people, like, throw them, mm-hmm. and then they fucking stick to the wall and... Mm-hmm. And I've always wanted to do that. No, I've always wanted to just stick it in my puss. Okay. <laughs> that's why I wanted one. I mean, that's normal. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you just wanted to play with it. I mean, I guess I wanted to do both, <laughs> yeah. but in a different... I'm not Boy. saying I wouldn't do both. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Another question that yeah, yeah. we had is from Greg. So Greg, Greg? Our Greg, Greg. <gasps> Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, you hot, sexy piece of man meat. What up, buddy? Such a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> Love you. Oh, my God. When I met you, I was like, <gasps> yeah. No, I wasn't. I'm just she kidding. really did. <laughs> I know you're denying it, but here I am. Like, it happens. What? I was like, why didn't you tell me Greg was a fucking hottie? <laughs> yeah. Like, she kind of did, but I guess I didn't understand how hot you were going to be. Mm. Nice explanation. You're like, I just didn't expect. I well, still your hot is not normally like my hot. That's, That's true. why we have different walls of men. That's true. Your yeah, men. you have kittens <laughs> up there, though. And I, so that worries me a little for your health, for your, <laughs> look at my side and look at yours. Mm. You have Betty White and kittens. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me with that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly. Oh, my God. Anyway, we love you, Greg. Yeah, Greg. Okay, so his question is... Yeah. Are you into going to see ICP in concert? Yeah. I mean, I to... think I was born to see ICP in concert at some point in time. Uh, Greg's probably, like, completely opposed to it. That's why he's asking us. Oh, he's like, really? disgusting. I would never. No, I don't know. <laughs> I, know. I, I really don't know that. But that would be about right, though. He probably wants Wouldn't to it? take us. Oh, let's go. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, w- I'm way into that. Go, I'm though. way yeah. into that. I mean, I can't. I wouldn't be able to sing along to every song. No, like, no. Like, I wouldn't say I'm, like, a huge fan <laughs> at all. Or even a fan at all. 
But I just mean that I will never turn down a concert experience because I think anything you can see live, you should expand your horizons and check it out. It might yeah. be pretty fucking cool. <clears throat> so, yes, we would both do that, right? I'm not, you know, I'm into juggalettes, though. Like, some of them bitches. Yeah. Let me juggalette. No, get out of here. You know what I tried to do? Don't be touching it. Okay. I tried oh, to juggalette. <laughs> oh, they hurt you. My tits are sorry. Can I have that? OCP. Um, oh my god, I have a CDL. Done. Oh, I don't have a done. Where is it? Oh, it's. Thank you. You just rubbed it on the chair, which <laughs> Concord je- yeah. grape jelly did. I hope you heard that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our last question is from Ron. Hey, Ron. Hey. Ryan is the sweetest, nicest guy ever. Oh, Ryan. I thought you said Ron. I'm really sorry. Oh, Ryan. I did, kind of. I like a Ron. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan. He's actually uh, going to help us get another computer so that you don't have to hear us like this anymore. Oh, my God. We're doing this for so long. Fuck. Thanks, buddy. Okay. So his question is. Yes. If someone queefs in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And no one is here there to hear it. Does it still smell like fish? Definitely. <laughs> That's a yes for me. I was gonna say definitely too. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, um, me and Ryan smoked two fucking joints together one night. Are you saying? Yeah. His I knew that. Okay. His tolerance is nice. I Pretty like high, it. huh? Yeah. Oh. I like it. Him and I were just smoking until he, you're drooling, kind of the other mm. day. And somehow we found out we're both pro queefing. So yeah. Like... Yeah. What a strange thing to talk about. Not really. I mean, <laughs> I'm with time you I too. Met him. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic stuff right there. I was like, I am so happy that I met another pro queef person like me. Did yeah. you think I was anti queef? No, but we just never talked about okay, it. Okay, good, because I'm not. I thought you were maybe neutral queef. No, I'm. Well, I. Are you pro queefing? Like I, th- I wish you would queef. I think I might be. All right. Yeah. I think I. Would, I would think I wish I would try right now, but I'm gonna piss myself if I do it. Yeah. I think I'd like. Anyway, what a fantastic question, Ron. Thanks, Ryan. I miss you and I love you too, buddy. When I was. I know, in Ron. A, when I was in a home for naughty children. Naughty girl. <clears throat> me, or not so much me, because I couldn't do it, but all the other girls that were there could queef on command. Okay, I'm not that good. I mean, I'm not that good, but if it comes out, just let it happen. How is that something that you talk about? Ah, uh, because you're girls that live together, so and girls are And you don't have gross. anything else to talk about. You don't have a television yes. to watch. You don't have like no books TV. to read and shit. Well, Nothing. you might have a book, but no, to like do chores all day. Out. Oh yeah. Ew. Yeah. So it was you just talk about queefs. And working out and cutting wood all day. I've never been that bored in my life, and I hope I never am. I feel so bad for you. You went through that. Oh, my God. And then if you got in trouble, which I did very often, yeah. you would get put on red, and you would have to go and sit in a chair and stare at a wall for six hours. <gasps> well, hey, polio. Hi, Where buddy. Where's my boy? He had to announce his okay. presence. Yeah. Where's my boy? Get up in here, boy. Hi, right. buddy. We gotta get out of here. No, ah! but I, I thought we were listening to him. It was I think so he's cute. Done. Well, he's a talker. Okay. He's always. You yelling. were talking about wanting to your boy to show up, and this little girl bitch boy shows up instead. <laughs> ah! Hi, mama. Hi, mama. No, I'm sorry. Not it's, men can have women voices. I don't care. Oh no, I've had too much. Okay. <laughs> Jens is out. Out of weed. And need right. to get the urine out of my blator. And I love you. Well, thanks for the story. That was great. And thank you for all your questions, people. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, thanks, Ryan and Greg. And I forgot and the other dude. And a not. It was probably Kimmy. Hey bitch! <laughs> Fucking miss you and your sweet slit. <laughs> That's what I miss. Bitch Kwame. Yeah. But I really am. I'm leaving. Okay, yeah. We got to get up the fuck out of here. So, Thank you. So, um, thanks for listening to us. And we do this usually every week. Next week, it'll be a lot better. It'll be a lot better quality. Thank you for hanging with us over these last couple weeks. Are you jerking dicks? What are you doing? What is that motion? When you said thanks for hanging in there, 
I just went to climbing. <laughs> like, I want to climb something. <laughs> You're climbing a rope? Are you hanging in? I'm okay. literally climbing a rope. She's she's jerking dicks. I'm jerking dicks. <laughs> yeah, it's that's would have made more sense if I just said, yeah, I am. So if you like us, uh, go <laughs> to our Apple iPods and give <laughs> Give us a five. Get to our iPods. God, on. Give us a five star. <laughs> or don't. Just what? <laughs> just the most important thing is if you just tell your friends about us. Quit. <laughs> We've really got to go. We'll see you next week. Please tune in. And yeah, all that stuff. So go to our Twitter. It's at be bad pod so b-e-b-a-d pod just go there you'll find a vulva vul- 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 <laughs> it'll be mine you get a picture of my vulva <laughs> speaking of we'll definitely be starting a patreon sometime this winter oh fuck so you can yep. see big jen's jerking all the dicks the as she's <laughs> As she's hanging in there. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck me. Okay, fine, bye. Bye, bye.